less than a quarter of universities across the country are resuming in-person classes for the fall semester, and that is weighing on communities that rely on universities to drive the local economy. Let's bring in Mayor Steve Patterson. He is the mayor of Athens, Ohio, where Ohio, where Ohio University is based. And Mayor, um, it's great to have you on today. Let's talk about where things stand right now. You've got a population of roughly 24,000 in your community, but a big chunk of that comes from the universities themselves. What are you looking at right now with classes largely online for the fall semester? Well, as you mentioned, about a third or two thirds to three quarters of the city's population is the student body. And with most of them being online, there are students that are doing face-to-face -face instruction, but by and large, uh, students are taking their courses online. We do have about uh, five to 6,000 students who are living in rental units off campus, juniors and seniors and graduate students. And with that, that's certainly helping with our local economy. Uh, but by and large, you know, we're seeing retail sectors that are significantly impacted. Another big sector in the city of Athens that I would contend in a lot of college towns are the hotel industry, where you're expecting to have your hotel rooms, uh, hotels full on move-in weekend. Um, things that are coming up that are now are not coming up would be homecoming or home games. Um, so we're, we're certainly seeing a, a lot of our business sector that built their, their worlds, their lives around um, the university and the university community. Um, so there's a lot of disruption when it comes to the local economy. You talk about the mass exodus that you saw back in March when universities were forced to close, 70,000 people essentially moving out overnight because of concerns about the virus. The hope was that the fall would allow these businesses to build back up. You just talk about the struggles uh, they're facing right now. Can you put a number on it in terms of the economic hit your city has taken as a result of how universities have changed? Well, as I mentioned with the hotel sector, um, what I can tell you is that uh, two of our local hotels at each hotel has already seen an impact of a million dollars of revenue loss, uh, decreasing their payroll by more than 50%, in some cases down by down to 35% payroll. Uh, we, on the city side, you know, one of our largest water customers um, in the city is the university, especially with the residence halls. But since the resident halls are not open, uh, or there's very few, three, less than 300 that are in the res halls. What we tend to see, again, is, is uh, what we are seeing, is a drop in city revenue in, say, our water fund by about $100,000 a month, uh, which is a big impact on the city's, um, city's budget. Uh, but by and large, you know, it, the retail sector in the uptown area, they too, one business that has, again, built its world around the university selling Ohio University paraphernalia, memorabilia, uh, picture frames for graduations and whatnot, that that particular business um, has reported to me that they're down by over $850,000 and not even, you know, um, and we'll experience that going into the remainder of the fall. And, and to be honest, we don't have a clue as to what the spring is going to look like either at this point in time. And Mayor Patterson, one of the other concerns that you have raised is the impact this is likely to have on the census. And you've pointed out that this all started back in April. If you don't get the right calculation here, what is the long-term impact for the city of Athens? Akiko, I'm glad you brought that up. You know, I think a lot of people don't think about this, especially in college towns, but with that mass exodus, the enumeration began April 1, and that's online, mail-in, phone-in. Uh, field enumerations have just started this month. And with the rollback of the end of enumeration, which is the end of September, um, we are really fearful that we're going to see significant undercounts, in particular in our student census tracts. Um, in 2010, one in particular, which is the vast majority is off-campus student housing, um, it was running at about 47.6%. Currently, it's running at 32.8%. So we are way off the mark when it comes to um, the headcount. And to put a, a point on that for you, Kiko, what that translates to in terms of dollars for a 10-year enumeration period. So the next 10 years, we stand to lose somewhere between 2 and $4 million a year for things like the community development block grants, which is what we rely yeah. on for neighborhood improvements, street improvements, uh, but also our yeah. schools. Two to yep. four million dollars. That is a huge uh, hit. And uh, Mayor Patterson, I appreciate you joining us today. Uh, thanks so much for your time.
Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.